Hello. So, Bombers Plus is known for having a lot of mods, and one of the mods being Bombers Times. And Bombers Times is a mod that adds a ton of content to the base game. And one thing it's known for is adding a lot of new characters. And today, I will give you a full guide on how one of the characters works. This character being Coach Dribble, which if you guys don't know, this is actually my own character that I submitted to be in Bombers Times. And it actually got accepted. And since it's my character, I know all about the character. And so, in this video, I'm going to give you a guide on how this character works. So first, his spawning. He can spawn on any floor that the reflex can, because he's considered a replacement character. Replacement characters are characters that have a chance to replace an existing character. In this case, Dr. Reflex. So Coach Dribble has a chance, has a 50-50 chance of replacing Dr. Reflex in a floor. And so as such, he can spawn floor 2, floor 3, and endless mode. And so for this, I'm going to use an endless mode seed that I found here to test all this. Which is 1027681022. Feel free to use that seed if you want to test out the character yourself. And now, time to get into how it works. So first, he has his own dedicated structure he spawns in, known as Coach Dribble's Gym. We first gotta find it. He also has his own poster in the principal's office right here. Coach Dribble, a basketball coach that takes the students for his basketball practice to teach how to play basketball. And that shows that he spawned in the floor, so now we need to actually find him. And he'll spawn, he'll always spawn in his gym right here. Coach Dribble's Gym. But you have to be a certain distance from the spawn, just like most characters here. And when he does spawn, he'll be indicated you by there. the sound me. of a basketball bounce scene, and he'll chase after you. You'll come with me to basketball practice. And when he catches up to you, he'll teleport you to the gym. I'm going to throw this basketball at you, and you need to catch it. And now he plays mini game. Ready? If you if you click the basketball that he throws, you actually caught it. He can catch it and get wide peas. The wide peas that you gain. Are uh, 100 normally, and on endless mode, 300. And if you catch basketball correctly, then he'll clap for you before ending the mini game. Basketball part is dismissed. And then he'll go on a one minute cooldown before chasing after you again. And he has infinite sight, so he will be easily, he will see you very easily. But if you just turn a couple corners, you can dodge him, and he can lose. And also, I saw it there, he can get attention from the magic student. Once he goes off his cooldown, he will start chasing you again. And so we're gonna let him take us to the battle practice. Because there's other You're ways to, to complete the main game. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you get I'm hit by the basketball. You, you this is what happens it. if you miss the basketball and get hit by it. Catch, you missed it. If you get hit by it, then you'll be stunned and slowed down. And you'll be disappointing you dismissed. before ending the main game. And you won't gain wide peace for doing this. But, there's another way, a third way, to end the minigame. Hey Matt, now you should go off cooldown. Yep, he's off cooldown. And I'm going to show you a You're third way me to, basketball practice. to end the minigame. This time, we're going to dodge the basketball that at us. I'm going to throw this basketball at you, and you need to catch it. Ready? So if I just sprint, I can dodge basketball. Catch! This is but, not the he will get very upset, and will alert Baldy to position. And you might think that's it. But if you decide to leave, Where are you going off to? He will get very upset and start to <laughs> you down. And as you saw right there, if he comes in contact with a character, he will push them out of the way, as you see with Baldi right here. And he also slowed him down when he does so. And he moves at speed as fast as your walking speed. And now I'm gonna show you what happens whenever he actually catches you. Also, yeah, Bobby won't be able to jump scare me since I turned off the ability to do that. But now we're still, and also, he's marked by footsteps sounds so like you know where he is. And if he catches you. No, they can sprint to the gym! He will force you to sprint around the gym. There is no way to escape this. You can't use items. You are forced to sprint around the gym until your Santa reaches zero. When this happens, then he will dismiss the battle practice before going on a one minute cooldown again. 
What I forgot to mention in the initial recording of this is that there's actually a fourth way to end Coaster Wars minigame. And I'm gonna show you that now. So if we just go and trigger his minigame again, don't see like he's spawned yet, so if I just go a little further away. Um, uh, a little further away, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh. You there. Yeah, if we go to his minigame me. way. You're again, late to basketball practice. There's no way to end the minigame. So, what do you take your minigame? Another way to end the minigame is just to walk right out the door. I'm going to throw this basketball at you. Where are you right now, to? But to see, right out the door. Um, does the same thing as if you just dodge the basketball, which makes him upset, and he'll chase you down, and if he catches you. No, I'm making you spin on a gym! He'll make you spin on a gym. So, I suggest not to run away from the minigame unless you have to, because otherwise, this is what's gonna happen if you Basketball do. Basketball part is dismissed. And that should be everything you need to know about Coach Dribble in the Barbarous Times mod for Barbarous Plus. Now, for wrap up this video, there's a couple other things to note. One, alternative way to dodge basketball is by hiding behind one of the basketball hoops. Because the bas when the basketball hits any object, it counts as dodging. So, if you hide behind the basketball hoop hoops and the ball hits the hoop, it will count as dodging as well. And other than that, that should be everything you know at Coach Dribble. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments down below, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like, and subscribe, because I post daily content, and also to post Bobby's Plus content. But with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out!